Hey guys, welcome to another Blog Tech Tips tutorial. I am your host, Ricardo Gardner. Now, for today, what I like to do is to show you how to actually um, change the background of a picture, or basically, if you have a picture of anything um, such as, let's say, for example, this was me. Of course, it's not, and you wanted to actually change the background. Now, I'm going to show you how to actually take a person from one picture and put them in another picture right in other words you could actually edit your photos along as they're high enough resolution and you can take out different subjects out of one background and put them into another now for this tutorial again we'll be using Adobe Photoshop right so we're gonna launch Photoshop here and of course we'll need our backgrounds now I have um, three different backgrounds in mind and here they are so if I just select them of course the backgrounds I'm working with today are um, I have a tree here in the background I also have a beach and I also have just a something looking like a lone country road right and of course I have my um, subject if I can find him here Yeah, okay, just looking out for this. Oh, here we go. Now, similar to the tutorial before, where I actually showed you how to actually um, remove the background, you'll be using that skill again. Now, today is a little bit different because this background is slightly more um, complicated, but due to the depth of field that's highlighting the person in front here, you'll notice that the background is um, basically slightly blurred out so again um we're gonna magnify the page it's a little bit too small to about 50 percent to magnification that's about okay and of course we're going back to our quick select tool over here i'm gonna click this and select um, the brush point is too small so i'm gonna make the brush point slightly larger and of course due to the background it's quite easy to actually select as you can see here and we basically can select here okay so in your picture it might be slightly more complicated but what you can actually do is change the size of the picture for example i suggest a decent size so when you're editing you can actually see the edges you can see along here and in case there's something that's small like between the ears here you can actually increase the magnification and decrease it to have a better um, a better view of what you're doing now of course I'm going to shrink the point of the oops. So I'm gonna do here is to select here. Now all I have to do is just carefully adjust the brush point. And as you can see here, the ear is now um, completely selected. Now you wanna pay careful attention that you get the outline as neatly as possible. Right? And there we go and this is not bad for um, a quick work also remember the background must be unlocked I forgot that in the earlier stages I'm gonna do that now okay and now that the background is unlocked I'm gonna hit delete and I'm gonna delete the background okay all right and oops I saw a mistake I'm gonna undo that you can use Control Z to undo and of course the mistake I made is right around here I got a piece of the ear cut off so you can delete now uh, that's much better now we have now removed the background as before right so what you want to do now with your subject is to control a and copy and of course you're gonna come over to one of your backgrounds for example we'll start with the country road you're gonna paste now of course this is not bad but as you can see the monk is a little bit too tall for the picture so and I'm not going to show you how to actually shrink the size of this picture so I'm going to delete this I'm going to go back to the original you're going to hit image and then you're going to go on image size now according to the environment I was placing him I'm going to use the percentage and I think I need him about 25 to 30 percent of his current size 
both of these are linked so they're gonna basically um, the height and width will adjust accordingly now if you're looking on screen here I've just adjusted the picture if you want to undo or change the size you can basically edit and step backward you go back to the original at any time or you can just step forward back to the size on control A and control C to copy you can also go to edit and you will have copy and paste but I just use the shortcuts as it's easier of course I'm gonna come over here at the picture and I'm gonna paste now of course make sure it's on this tool here which is the move tool of course I can actually move the the monk around so as you can see here I've taken him out of one picture and I basically place him into a another I could basically depend on his pose make it look more natural but other than a few flaws here as you can see here um, if he was posing just right it looks as if it's a little boy down a country road and now he's just standing there in the image right and looking at or basically he could have been holding a camera and taking a selfie all right now i'm gonna put said boy at the beach and here we go again and there he goes and of course we could mess with the size so i could just basically say i want him say 50 percent of his current size i just copy this again and this there we go he's now at the beach and of course you can see that the background is high resolution so i could basically even take myself and put myself into this background here he goes again the last environment here i'm gonna put him up against this these trees over here now as you can see here you can make the pictures look as natural as possible the trick is just to get the subject blending with the background as best as possible now another trick you can do to actually blend him is to make him a little bit lighter so you can see here on a layer go into blending options and you go on this option here you notice you can basically make him slightly blending with the environment and I think that's about it. So all you'd have to do in this case is go to file, save, set it to JPEG. Right, and then instead of JPEG one, I'm just gonna call this edited. And then I'm gonna save. Of course you can mess with the quality. I'm gonna set it to high. Um, or basically I'm setting the maximum. I'm gonna hit OK and here we go. This is the completed image. That's an image file on your desktop. There we have the little boy in the background. Looks as if almost perfect as if he belongs in the picture. So guys this has been a simple tutorial to show you how to actually remove somebody from one picture and place them into another picture you can use this for family photos to edit people out or into a picture especially if they didn't get into the picture at the first and you want them into a picture all right guys thanks and i hope you enjoyed this tutorial please subscribe please like and leave a comment you can also check out the website we have a written version of this and other tutorials and fixes this is ricardo saying goodbye